Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Planet Bike Shiner 70 bike light set. The Planet Bike Shiner 70 light set is a compact yet bright LED setup that can be used to complement traditional headlight and taillight setups. The lights offer a flexible mounting design and can provide additional visibility while riding. In terms of packaging, you get the classic Planet Bike setup with the cardboard box, minimal waste, and the kind of eye-catching round design right on the front. You have both the headlight and taillight here, and you can see you can actually interact with them. It even says push my button right on there, which is kind of cool. And you can see the full form factor. All the specs are in the back for the front and rear. And as always, these are FL1 tested and come backed with Planet Bikes, pretty nice warranty. So if you ever need support or extra parts, they can offer you that at really affordable price points. Let's go ahead and take them out of the box and go over the specs. Retail price on the set is $50. They also offer the tail light on its own for $30. Each light is rated for up to 70 lumens, which is why they're called the Shiner 70 set. They have a linear multi LED setup and you can see that they're simply arranged in a vertical line. They're micro USB rechargeable, so you can use these and then recharge them when you're done. They also have a micro USB charging port right underneath. So really easy to use. And they have a 440 milliamp battery with a lithium polymer design uh, directly integrated into the body. So very compact, you don't have to worry about AAA batteries. And they have the daytime visible super flash option, which is really cool. And that's something you see with a lot of their taillights. So it's on the headlight and taillight. So really eye catching with this irregular flash pattern. In terms of what comes with them, obviously you get the headlight and taillight. You get their quick strap mount and they're pretty much interchangeable between the two with a simple rubber design, pretty robust with a simple slide in mechanism. You also get the rack attachment, which is great that Planet Bike offers it without additional cost. So you can attach this to your rack with the hardware provided and you get a single micro USB charging cable to charge the lights. Let's take a look at the weight of the light set. So the tail light with the mount comes in at 34 grams, while the headlight with its own mount, which appears to be identical, is also 34. So a pretty lightweight set. Now let's go over the fit and finish of the Shiner 70 light set. As you can see, very similar between the headlight and tail light. They have these more modern LED strip design with surface mounted LEDs that are visible right inside. The main difference between the taillight and headlight is the fact that the taillight obviously has a red tinting on the lens and it uses less LEDs versus the uh, headlight. I believe the headlight uses 10 while the taillight uses seven. So you can see when they're on, it's kind of hard to tell with the camera, but the center one's quite bright with the taillight while the headlight is more uniform. This is not a Cobb LED design. So instead they're surface mounted and you can see the individual LEDs when they're illuminated. Nice transparent bodies too. So when it's on, you can see the tail light is still visible from high angles. So instead of being all black here, that transparency lets some of the light bleed through. Very simple branding. You just have Planet Bike printed on one side, Shiner 70 on the other, and that's about it. One power button on the bottom. There is a low battery indicator on these and that'll only illuminate when it's very low. There's otherwise no real indication of the current battery state. The mounts are kind of cool. So you have the square mounts on the bottom, just a big tab that'll go into the quick straps and a charging port right on the bottom side as well. So a little bit hard to open since they're so tiny, but if you pull up on this, it's just a simple micro USB charging port on both. And these are higher rated for water or dust, so you can definitely use these on wet weather rides. What's cool about the mount is that it's a very simple quick strap design. You can see it's got a little bit of curvature, so you do need to mount it somewhere with a little bit of curvature. If you have a flat fork, this might not work well and kind of flop around. Otherwise, the mount has a simple strap, a little rubber strap that's flexible and you can see quite thick, so it should handle day-to-day -day use. And what's cool about the square shape is you can put this in sideways, has a simple tab to unlock it, or you can put it in vertically. So that's great for the headlight and taillight. The headlight you can mount on your handlebar horizontally, while the taillight, you can put the more 
standard method of vertical. So it's great to have that flexibility and very simple design. You also get the uh, rack attachment for the tail light that you can use as well. The interface on these lights is very simple. You have a high setting, you have a low setting, and then you have super flash, which is that irregular flashing pattern. And this is a one level, a single level menu. So it's just one click to cycle through. There is no mode memory, so you can't turn off the light. You actually have to cycle through it anyways to get to off. So it's off, high, low, and then the super flash, which is a little bit annoying. If you always want super flash, that means you have to do three clicks and then an extra click to turn it off. Would have been nice to see mode memory so you can actually just hold and turn it off. But otherwise, very simple. No uh, high tech, Bluetooth connectivity. Just a basic light that's a great secondary light for your bike for better visibility. There are three different modes for both the headlight and taillight. You have two constant modes, a high mode and a low mode, where the runtime obviously goes down and high. And then you have super flash for both of them, and that's Planet Bike's iconic irregular flash pattern, and that's great for daytime riding to really make sure you're seen. Also, the low modes don't make a lot of sense. Even in the high 70 mode, you're not going to be able to see by this light. This is a be seen light, so it definitely helps you be visible, but not necessarily light up the road. As far as the super flash mode works really well, so here you can see riding up and down. Both the headlight and taillight have a nice wide lens, and with the strong flash, you can be really seen from further distances, so it's a great complement to a traditional headlight and taillight setup. Now let's compare the Shiner 70 and other lights on the market. Here we have the Planet Bike Spoke USB lights, which we previously reviewed. They're about $10 cheaper, a lot less bright, and you can see very different form factors. Where the Shiner 70 has this more modern vertical LED strip, these have almost a pod design with a little reflector and single LED. So definitely a different approach. What I liked about the Spoke USB in that review was the mountain. You can see it's a lot more flexible, so it can easily go on a fork or seat stay where these have this more rounded mount with the quick strap that makes it less uh, stable on a thinner seat stay. So this will tend to flop around while the spoke USB will stay there a little bit better because of this design. But again, the 70, the Shiner 70 is much brighter. Now, although these are 70 lumen lights, these aren't a replacement for proper headlights and taillights. You can see the Bontrager Ion RT and the Flare RT here, very similar designs, single LEDs. But the big difference with a kind of BC versus 2C type light is the uh, lens design. So if we compare taillight to taillight, you can see how focused that is. Single one with a focused one, while this is just bright with the uh, single LED. So there's no reflector, it's very simple. So this is great for close distances, but if you want to be seen from Further away, you want something with this focused design, and that's where something like the Bontragers really come in handy. These are quite a bit more expensive and have more features, such as uh, connecting to your head units, while the Shiner 70 is just more of a simple light, you just press the button, turn them on. Topeak also has a couple options. This is their Headlux 100 USB. So you can see very compact, dual LED design, and you can see it's more designed for helmets, or handlebars with this kind of dual strap design. So you can wrap it around or up and over. But the form factor, again, it's not really designed for, say, your fork, as it'd be kind of difficult to mount. While these are a little bit more flexible and great as a secondary light. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Shiner 70 light set. What I like about it is it has a budget-friendly price and it's backed up with Planet Bikes warranty and spare part services. You also have daytime visible super flash on both the headlight and taillight, which is a great mode to use during the day or low visibility conditions. Also, the rubber strap mounts can be used either vertically or horizontally, so you can be really creative on how you install the lights on your bike. Some of the cons for the light set is the fact they have no mode memory. You actually have to cycle between on to off, so you can't just do a long press. That can be a little bit annoying, especially if you always want to use super flash. Also, the mounts don't really work well on narrow seat stays or forks. They're better suited for round profiles like your handlebars or your seat post. Taking everything into account, we'd give the light set an 8.5 out of 10. It's a nice affordable dual light set that's great for extra visibility. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com, as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.